Hello guys, in this video I'm going to build helicopter model Kamov K52 Alligator for my teller in 1 to 72 scale. The kit is a little bit old, but if you like to build with helicopter, you don't have better options. It's also available one kit from Zvezda or Repack from Revel. The quality of these models is almost same. I cut the plastic parts of the sprue with very sharp clippers. Then I glue all plastic parts with Mr. Cement S. It is very thin adhesive. In the kit is only one marking and it is one of the first prototypes of the K52. I ordered a decal sheet made by Begemont for K50 Black Shark and K52 Alligator. So I will build this one. It is a prototype from Max Air Show 2007. I think it will be more interesting than a boring black helicopter. I will do only a few modifications. I fill the front nose with an epoxy party. I make small holes to rocket launchers with Proxon Micro Mode. You must be very careful to hit the center of the each tube. One mistake can destroy this plastic part. I fill plastic joints with a Tamiya white party. Then I send excess party with 500 grit sponge sandpaper. It is very time consuming to rescribe all panel lines, but it's worth it. Now I spray model with a Surfacer 1000. Then I will send impurities very slightly with a sandpaper and then I will spray model with a black undercoat color. I will show you how to simply you can mask clear parts before spraying. I stick masking tape on the window and then I highlight the transition between the rim and window with a toothpick. In the end I softly cut the masking tape with a very sharp knife.
The cockpit is very spacious, so it is not hard to paint all details at this moment. I use Tamiya Height Finish Pointed Brush and Revel Aqua or Citadel Colors, both are acrylic. I found some impurities, so I must unify model with a grey surfacer, I hope for the last time. I will spray on the bottom light blue acrylic color. I do not use the precise color shade, I mix this shade from blue, white, brown and green acrylic colors. And I am using airbrush, harder on Steinbeck Infinity with 0.15mm nozzle. I apply the brown enamel wash when the color dries up. I do not spray model with a varnish. Maybe you think it's weird, but I can use wash right on the color. Because I use enamel wash and the underlying color is acrylic. I spread excess wash with a Tamiya X20 enamel thinner. Because in Europe is a X20 enamel thinner unavailable, you can use odorless thinner made by AK or AMO. Theoretically, you can use any type of enamel thinner, but first you must try if it's not too much aggressive. I paint rocket launchers with extreme metal color, shade steel. It is not problem to spray this color right on the pure plastic without primer. Now I spray model with two layers of a clear varnish, when the all parts are in the right place. When the varnish dries up, I add water slide decals and use Agama Tenzol to set them properly. The Tenzol it is not so aggressive like Mr. Color Softer or Hypersol. What now? I spray model with one or two layers of a matte varnish. I imitate more shading and weathering with enamel wash and oil paints.
In the last step, I glue the rotor head. In this moment, is model finished. In my opinion, K52 Alligator is very good looking helicopter and it deserves your attention. I built this model after one week and it is not certainly my last helicopter model. So thanks for watching and see you next time. And one more thing, you can vote for next project if you have Facebook account. I will add sometimes a photo with six model kits and you can vote via Facebook icons or you will see there my next projects. Bye and have a nice day.